All right, see Lindelof videos, simplifying a radical expression. Here we have this radical expression here. This one is rational and radical, so it's even, it's even worse. Um, here we just have to keep in mind some conventions. And one mathematical convention is that we are not supposed to have a radical, like, like square root of 5, in the denominator. And when we do, we're supposed to do something called rationalizing the denominator which just is a, is a way to remove this thing. Remember this, if we can multiply anything by one, right? Just take any number, multiply it by one, and see if you don't get that same number back. So we're gonna use that principle to our advantage using some, and use something called the conjugate. The conjugate of, of, of an expression is, let's say that our expression is a plus b. The conjugate of that would be a minus b. And when we multiply a plus b times a minus b, we get something called difference of squares. And it's a really, really helpful technique for simplifying some math. So this is the technique that we're going to use here. What I'm saying to you is this. I'm going to call this a plus b. So if this is a plus b and I want its conjugate, the conjugate of a plus b is a minus b. The conjugate of a minus b is a plus b. So instead of writing 4 plus square root 5, I'm going to write 4 minus square root 5 over 4 minus square root 5. Hopefully, we can agree that any number except for 0 over itself is equal to 1. So we're just multiplying by 1, so we're not really doing much, are we? So I'm going to start to pursue this. And as I do, it's going to look like this. I'm going to just use, do my math. One thing that's really important is that as we do this, that we realize we have to distribute this completely, that multiplication is distributive over addition and subtraction. And this is subtraction here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that part. And as I do that, I'm going to get square root of 2 times 4, which is 4 square roots of 2. Then I'm going to get a positive times a negative is a negative. And the square root of 2 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 10. Remember, as long as the radicals match, this is a square radical, this is a square radical, so both square roots. Then you multiply these radicands, these numbers on the inside. So 2 times 5 is 10. That's where I got that. You're like, OK, Charlie, that's not very impressive yet. Well, here's the goal. Here's our goal. And our goal was to try to get rid of these radicals down here. So I'm going to multiply this times this using FOIL, right? So let's take a look at that for just a second. I wonder if I can do this. Let me see if I can move this piece out of the way for a second. Hmm. Okay, that didn't work. That's all right. No problem. So as I FOIL this out, I have 4 times 4, this is 4 times 4, is 16. 4 times negative square root 5 is negative 4 square roots of 5, isn't it? Then I multiply the inside pieces, and square root 5 times 4 is positive, sorry, positive 4 square roots of 5. And when I multiply, then I'm going to do the last piece, and that is square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Remember, we multiply the inside pieces, so we get plus the square root of 25. Well, here's some good news. The square root of 25, so look, this is me chasing this down. So I'm just going to put all the stuff where it would go. It would be 16 minus 4 square root 5 plus 4 square root 5 plus, oh, it's not plus, is it? Look at that. I almost caught myself. Uh, positive times a negative is a negative. So it would be negative, right? Square root 25. So this should have been a negative. Let me show you again where I messed that up. And that is that I, when I, I multiplied a positive times a negative and should have gotten a negative, right? So maybe still you're not so impressed. But look at this just for a second. The top piece, which was 4 square roots of 2 minus square root 10. Then let's do this. Negative, square root, negative 4 square roots of 5 plus 4 square roots of 5, where they're the exact opposite, so they cancel out, don't they? Square root of 25 is 5, isn't it? Now we just have 16 minus 5, and 16 minus 5 is 11. So there's our cleaned up answer. How do I know it's cleaned up? Are we allowed to have radicals in the numerator? Yes. Are we allowed to have radicals in the denominator? No. 11 is not a radical, and therefore it's okay down there, isn't it? Now what I've heard other people say is, can we add these together? We can't. They're not like numbers. The square root of 2 is not the same as the square root of 10. So we can't add or subtract them. And this is not multiplication because it's, it's subtraction, isn't it? 
Okay, you guys. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, please make them. If there's anything that you'd like to know, please make comments. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it.